Mariner fans did not curb their enthusiasm Sunday at T-Mobile Park, and for good reason. George Kirby dazzled in his Major League debut, overpowering Rays hitters for six shutout innings in front of a loud crowd of family and friends. They got him! Abraham Toro's ninth inning homer added a little more juice to the electric factory before Ty France and company topped off the energy with a walk-off win. That will do it! Ball game! Tonight, the Mariners hope to keep that current flowing as they welcome the Phillies to town for the first time in five years. Swing and a miss, struck him out. It is another Bark of the Park night as tonight the homestand continues and the Mariners welcome to town for just the fourth time ever. The Philadelphia Phillies. We've got some interleague action from inside T-Mobile Park and we are all set to go. Mariners and the Phillies the first of three and we are thrilled to have you as always for Mariners baseball on Root Sports as the reigning National League MVP Bryce Harper and company stroll to town. How about that starting lineup for skipper Joe Girardi. Now Kyle Schwarber the average isn't great the on base is better and better than that seven home runs for Schwarber doesn't look like your typical leadoff man but he's a top of the order Harper the MVP last year he's been relegated to DH duties because of a barking elbow meanwhile the best offensive player so far this season for the Phillies has been Nicholas Castellanos four home runs for the first year Phil former Mariner Gene Segura checks in at second base today. And with Didi Gregorius on the injured list, freshly placed on the IL, Bryson Stott rounds out the order and is a short for Philly. Chris Flexen toes the slap for the sixth time this season, Mike. A one and four record, but a 3-1 ERA. Not a lot of run support for Chris this year. 29 innings, he has 17 strikeouts over nine walks. Chris pitched well in his last outing against Houston. Five innings, just one earned run. Through 96 pitches in that outing, a season high. Our first pitch brought to you by First Tech Federal Credit Union. And we are underway with the first pitch fastball missing outside for ball one. And that is his average fastball at 92 miles an hour. Well, the Phillies were active this offseason. They've had some pretty active off seasons in years past. In fact, as they bring in Kyle Schwarber, they bring in Castellanos as well. Schwarber coming off a fantastic season with the Nats. Two balls and a strike. And Joe Girardi, former Yankees skipper, before coming to Philadelphia, spent some time on TV. Now back in the dugout. Former big league catcher as well, just like Scott Service. Into the shifts. There is Dylan Moore for round number one. Now look at the defense. Julio Rodriguez in center field. Jared Kelnick will get the start in right field. We saw Dylan Moore over at shortstop making that play. Crawford still day to day. Abraham Toro will get the start at second base, and Cal Raleigh will do the catching. And for Flexen, a closer look, four seamer about 41% of the time. There's the cutter already in play a number of times. 35% changeup will be important this evening at 17% and the occasional curveball. Good look at that. Thanks to StatCast, powered by Google Cloud. Alec Bohm looks at a first pitch strike. Boom, the former number three overall pick back in 2018. Casey Mize went 1 1 out of Auburn to Detroit. Then Joey Bart was drafted by the Giants to eventually take over for Buster Posey. And then the Phillies were on the board. They took this young man, Alec Boehm, who's having a good start to his season. You can see he's been hot recently. It was taken three spots ahead of where the Mets took Jared Kelnick. Ball and two strikes. Oh. 
Oh well, Mike for Flexen we know this much as we just saw on the graphic. Very fast ball cutter heavy, heavy this year. The changeup, the last two strikes in particular have been very impressive. It's been a really good pitch for him and he's going to use it already the first out off the Schwarber was a changeup off the end of the bat. That's the only changeup he's thrown so far. I'll be curious if he's going to be willing to throw the changeup to the right handers. Now that he has a much better feel for it, you mentioned his last couple of outings. I think he'll give it a try. Phillies want to hit the fastball. They do a lot of damage on the fastball so his off speed pitches will be important. Already heavy with the cutter. You look at this lineup this year for the Phillies 11th in the majors in runs per game. 13th and on base but they can really slug. Here comes Flexen's one two to Bohm. Swing and a miss elevates a good fastball pops a 94 on Bohm. First strikeout today for Chris Flexen. This is right towards the top of the strike zone EQC Tracer. Maybe he caught a piece of that line, but his best fastball so far at 94 miles an hour. You don't see too many 94s from Flexen. Here is Bryce Harper. I guess Harper just gets booed everywhere. <laughs> he was booed walking into the batter's box here today. I don't know how many Mariners fans have an axe to grind <laughs> against Harper. Why is that, do you think? I, it's a lifelong National League player, but I guess some guys just uh, carry that with them, huh? Been a pretty good player. Well, I'm sure to the overrated chant he just heard, he'd like to show uh, that fan his second MVP award, which he won last year. He won one with the Nationals back in 2015 and then won his second MVP award last season. And he's done some damage in this ballpark. Six for 11 with three home runs. Now, when I think of Harper in Seattle, I think of him, it might have been against Felix. It was a night game here. And he nearly put a crack in the windows yes, of the yep. Hitter Here Cafe. He led baseball last year with 42 doubles. He matched 35 home runs. And thank goodness for the new rules with the designated hitter in both leagues because Harper, for over two weeks at this point, has been sidelined as strictly a DH. He's been having a barking elbow, he hasn't been able to throw. Quality fastball to make it three and one. Harper seven years with the Nationals. This now is fourth season after signing a very lucrative free agent deal with the Phillies. This is high. Harper is known to draw a walk, and he takes one here with two outs. And for Chris, he wants to stay away from those types of counts. 3 1, 2 0. That's when the Phillies can do some damage. There's Castellanos. Oh, we saw him chatting it up with a couple of his former teammates before the game today. Former Cincinnati Red, Eugenio Suarez, and Jesse Winker. Very familiar to Castellanos. At the knees for strike one. Now Castiano signed a five year hundred million dollar free agent deal to go to Philadelphia. Goes from one good hitters ballpark to another. Takes just up and in ball one to Castellanos. Well, you can see this is a team that has been hitting the ball hard this year. Third of the majors in slug, top ten in home runs. They manage their strikeouts well to go along with it, about middle of the pack in that regard. So it has been pretty impressive over the first month to see their power with their ability to well, not strike out all that often. 
in the grand scheme of things. Not an easy task for Flexen or anyone. Big first curveball from him. I think he'll continue to throw it. Try to get a feel for it. He hasn't thrown it much this year. Really likes his cutter this year. It's been his best pitch opponent sitting just 167 off the cutter. Two outs Harper at first base. The 2 2. Just off the plate. Well, with Flex and a dovetail on that, Mike, we know he's, he's not a strikeout guy. Last year he was a very good ground ball pitcher. If he wants to get outs, he seems like the type of guy who has to be able to use all four pitches. I would think so. He's, he's at his best when he's mixing up, and that includes his curveball a little bit more than the seven percent on average that he's done this year. Swing and a miss. Good fastball again from Flexen. Couple of strikeouts in his scoreless top of the first. 